What have I learned from other mayors? I've learned that best practices don't come from a case study, from a, a class online. I can tell you we've learned the most from picking up the phone, calling each other when we have issues that affect us. Good afternoon, everyone. Ten years ago, City Lab began as a place for mayors to come together to share ideas. As a mayor, I was glad to be part of it, and our team at Bloomberg Philanthropies was glad to support it. Today, City Lab has grown into an event that brings together mayors, chief innovation officers, policy experts, and other local leaders from across the world to find answers to some of the most pressing challenges of our time. This is an example of subsidized housing in Vienna. This was designed by the tenants themselves. This is what we are reproducing whenever we have a chance to develop our city further. Fixing a city doesn't necessarily have to involve pushing out people who have been there for, for generations. Placekeeping is much different than placemaking. Placekeeping is about engaging the people that already live in a space and allowing them to preserve the stories, the culture. The Asphalt Art Initiative, we've helped make streets and sidewalks brighter, more visible, more full of life, and safer. Now Freetown is so really densely populated and that has been the driver for a lot of the challenges that we're now grappling with. I've been able to get some really practical solutions, whether it's with community engagement, whether it's the use of data. Transportation policy is delivered by the people who are doing the work day in, day out. And as we take equity more seriously as a transportation priority, I think it's just as important to ask the question, whose problems will this solve? We've got a London-wide low emission zone, which now covers pretty much any vehicle type except for cars. We've done a lot on air pollution, thanks in part to a very powerful lobby around air pollution. So London's much cleaner than a lot of other cities. Language skills considered advanced for her age, thanks to a novel program called Providence Talks. The principle behind this program actually turns out to be that a parent is a child's first and most important teacher. Digital innovation in Mexico City is a way to ensure that everyone in Mexico City have access to the rights they deserve. What I've learned from other mayors is that we have to talk to one another. We have to make sure that we're supporting one another so that we can be there and can be that strength in a time of real need. So the horrific Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando killed 49 people. The message from the very beginning was, we're not going to be defined by the hateful act. We're going to be defined by a response. And that response has to be with love and compassion and unity. Extreme heat is our primary climate hazard. So we want all of these departments to follow a roadmap so that LA remains a habitable city. We've seen how important government is to keep people alive. Now is the vaccine rollout. When we come out on the other side of this thing, we're better, we're stronger, and we're more equitable. It's hard for me to say good morning because it's actually not a good morning in Ukraine. We have a mayor, he will need to leave today because his city was attacked. Thank you for support. We must believe in our victory. Never give up. On this 10th anniversary, we celebrate the role City Lab has played in helping local leaders become drivers of global change. And we are just getting started. <laughs>